Hi everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can get metahumans outside of Unreal Engine. And this is totally official metahuman plugin. You can get them inside Maya as well as Houdini. In this tutorial I will cover the Maya part and it is totally free. There is no third party plugins, there is nothing. It's just official metahuman Maya plugin. So let's get started. To get this plugin, first you need to download this inside Epic Games library. And then just search for MetaHuman. And here you should see MetaHuman for Maya. If you don't see it, just update your Epic Games launcher. And also maybe you need to download the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.6.0. The full version released today after Unreal Fest 2025 so if you didn't get it yet please download it from here and then inside library just click on install to the engine i already installed it so as you can see i cannot do it again after that you need to find this file this file locates inside c drive program files epic games and metahuman for maya if you cannot see it here you should go to your Unreal Engine 5.6 version and go to Engine and inside Plugins, Marketplace and again, you can see it inside here as well. And after that, go inside Metahuman for Maya 5.6, Content and you will see a MSI file. Just double click on it, go through the installation and click on Finish. As far as I know, in the description of this plugin, it says it is working inside Maya 2022 to 2025. So you can test it in any of them. Just open Maya. Inside Maya, just go to Windows, Settings and Preferences and Plugin Manager. Search for MetaHuman and click on Load. But if you're already using Embedded RL4 or DNA Calibration Tools or Quixel Bridge, you may get this error. How you can get rid of this error is just close this, go find your embedded RL4 and Maya Unreal Engine RBF plugin .mll files and just unload them by unchecking all of these plugins. You may get some crashes in the process. As you can see, I already got some crash, but restart Maya, no problem. Again, do the same process, go down and unload embedded RL4. Also, you may close this MS plugin, just close it and just unload anything related to DNA, embedded RL4 or anything else. Just unload by unchecking those, preview the logic, unload and Maya Unreal Engine RBF plugin, unload. Maybe the order is important in here to not crash. I don't know, but it's not crashing anymore. Go find MetaHuman again and click on load. And as you can see, right now we can see this MetaHuman plugin in here. Just close this, click on MetaHuman character assembler. Right now, as you can see, I have a character, but I will show you how you can get this character in here. Just go open library and open your Unreal Engine scene that you have 5.6 MetaHuman inside it. Go to Content Browser, just open your MetaHuman character. Um, let's open this one. So this is just a MetaHuman creator file. If you don't know anything about it, just go watch my previous tutorials. I show you how you can create this character inside MetaHuman Creator. So go to Assembly. Inside assembly options, just choose DCC export. And for the output folder, click on browse and just save it any place. It doesn't matter. I saved it inside my contents folder. I created a DCC folder. It's just a random folder. It's not important. After that, you can click on assemble and you can export all of these information outside of Unreal Engine. So it already exported our files. Go back to Maya. For Matemos directory, just choose that folder. 
that you chose before. It's just the same folder, just go browse and locate that DCC folder. After that, you will see your character inside here. All you need to do is just click on your metahuman and you can choose the options in here. You can choose import only head, body, textures, or all of them. And for the up axis, you can set to Y or Z or get the information from metahuman DNA. So Maya is Y up by default. That's why I choose Y up, but you can choose any of them. It's your preferences. And click on assemble and click on yes. And now we have metahuman character inside Maya. And all of these controllers are working, as you can see. So this plugin is for Maya. And as far as I know, you cannot export those meshes outside of Maya because there is no option for that, at least inside metahuman plugin. What you can do inside metahuman plugin is you can check the expression editor. I didn't check it yet. I will check it, uh, how it works, and I will share my uh, experience with this option. Groom exporter is also a, another option that you can do. And that's all. Uh, I cannot see anything about exporting metahuman from this scene. I guess you cannot do it with this plugin. I don't know. We'll see. And for now, that's it. I will explore more about these plugins and will share my thoughts and experiences with you. Thank you for watching. Till next time, good luck with your materials and bye.